Welcome to BricsCAD for AutoCAD users. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it is my pleasure to show you BricsCAD 14. It may come as a surprise to learn that BricsCAD has sheet sets built in. In fact, this has been the case since version 13. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access sheet sets and play a little bit around with them. Sheet sets in BricsCAD are not accessed like in AutoCAD. In AutoCAD, you probably know that they are part of the sheet set manager, but in BricsCAD, they're part of the Drawing Explorer. So from the Tools menu, I've selected Sheet Sets, and here you can see the Drawing Explorer. And there's the Sheets tab. You may be familiar with the Open Drawings tab uh, normally, but uh, here we've got the Sheet Sets tab. Now I'm going to close this and uh, show the second way of accessing Sheet Sets, and that's to go to the File, man uh, file menu, and then choose Open Sheet Set. Notice that uh, BricsCAD can read DST files which are produced by AutoCAD. So you've, if you have sheet sets and drawings you've created in AutoCAD, you can bring them over into BricsCAD just by opening them through this. And there's the same Drawing Explorer showing the sheets menu. Let me describe to you the toolbar that you'll find in the Sheet Sets tab of the Drawing Explorer. Now, if you go over here, you'll see the usual Drawing Explorer toolbar is all grayed out, and that's because it doesn't apply to Sheet Sets. Instead, they have their own toolbar here. Now, I'm going to go through them one by one in just a moment, but let me digress. Sheet Sets are pretty new in BricsCAD. They've only been around for two releases, so I should warn you up front, you're not going to find all the same commands as you would in AutoCAD. For example, I can right-click this and choose Display View, but it's not going to work. Other parts are more implemented, so I can right-click here, and all of these are, in fact, implemented, all these commands. Okay, back to this toolbar. Well, this first button's for creating a new Sheet Set. Click on that and uh, here we have a uh, bit of a wizard for how you want to create the new sheet set and you click next to to go through the various steps this one's for opening existing sheet set and you saw that earlier under the file menu this one's for importing an xml file but that's not so useful unless you actually have a file to export xml is a format that uh, lets other programs read all the data that's inside of a sheet set file. Not the drawings themselves, but all the, the data that connects sheets and drawings and so on and, and, and contains the descriptions in that. Uh, this is for plotting a sheet set and this is for publishing uh, a sheet set. The difference between plot and publish, of course. Plot is for a single drawing. Publish is for a set of drawings. And uh, so there's the publish interface there and you can add more drawings. Uh, and save the um, sheet list to be plotted. So if you have a whole set of drawings you want to plot always at the same time, then uh, you would use the publish command. Over here we have the e-transmit uh, button, and that's for uh, sending a whole bunch of drawings plus all their support files, and that's very important. And so you can see some of the support files. BricsCAD goes through and uh, finds all the external files that are needed with the drawings to make them work if you want to send drawings to someone else on someone else's computer. You can see here that there's the fonts that are needed, plot configuration files, and, and so on. Over here we have a uh, selection sets involving uh, sheets. Not going to get into details of that and uh, custom properties because you know that uh, sheets can have their own properties and uh, these are added as attributes to the drawings but you can uh, centralize uh, the properties that are common to all of the sheets right here. I trust that you found this uh, introduction to the way that BricsCAD handles sheet sets useful and uh, Hope to see you again in another tutorial video. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.